That's how we do it. Numbers game. It's a numbers game. And for the rest of the world, the 250 countries from Britain, we're doing the rest of the world from this blueprint here of land title and jurisdiction of admiralty court martial law. That's what we're exercising on any marae as the highest court in this country with this authority, the flag authority and jurisdiction straight to the Westminster Magistrate Court. The magistrate, we are the magistrate in this bag over here, is the magistrate court. I'm making that for the Paramount Chiefs when they come down to Auckland to conduct the Cook Street title, to seize that land. We're going to seize it off you two thugs. James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree, you're gone. And Bailey's, you're gone too. You're going to lose all your business because I told you what was going to happen. And you ignored me. You can't ignore any of this anymore. Not even the police. You're all in the scam with John Key. He's liable to you all. The Queen has libeled you and the Governor General of this country. You can't come up with any defence because the time is over. I've issued you warnings all the way through and you've ignored them. You can't ignore them anymore because I've got the Paramount Chiefs and the military in Britain to seize everything. It's their job to seize it. It's our job to write the bill because we're the ones injured. You've injured our ships and I'm naming 30% of you and your ships have injured 70% of this country's population and disadvantage of You took advantage of all the people in this country and just scarfing them. You're stealing from them with their birth certificates and land and possessions and you're not going to get away with it. You're going to wrap up them. We're going to wrap you up with this flag and take the Admiralty off you, take the Admiralty off America, take the Admiralty off New York because we are the ones with the contract of Admiralty, Court Martial Law. We are the law. We are the Crown and the Moai standing in London is my title. I can say for myself because Napu will say it's theirs too. It's rightly so, legally so. Legitimate commercial landowners of the memorials to the land and the world for that matter, the Moai. So I'm saying this for the rest of the world from Britain <coughs> that we're conducting a court hearing in the Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court and we make a ruling. If you don't turn up, we name you online on this Facebook that's admissible in the High Court, any court of law. The videos are worse. If you don't counter the videos that are put there, like this one, John Key, when I say your name on a video, if you can't defend it, you get a trillion pounds plus on your head, straight off. We seize everything that you own, and the balance goes to the Queen and all the thugs on that side, on your 30% of this country and the rest of the world the same. From Britain, it's going to go straight across the board. One shot. The same figures are going to go from here, the President case, to Britain, and from there it's the same right through the world. The same formula. I'm just doing the same formula right through the world. Standard pound note of Maui. We're using the British pound note as levy debtor instrument and we can go from there and pull our own value on our own power note as we go along. So, when we finish the court case here in Auckland in September, it'll be this first Friday, second Saturday. I think that's all we need. We don't need the Sunday. We just need the two days to conduct this hearing. When no one turns up like it normal, you ignore it. You can't ignore it because it's going straight into the online court in the Royal Building in London. That's where the latest court case of two million or something more than that here has gone there. Cases go in there and they're done in two hours. And when they make a ruling there, you're gone because we'll seize everything.
we're going to seize it before that hits the other head. They'll get it first in the same hour or half an hour or one minute that they get it. When I press the button, it's there. From that point on, we seize the lamb. Any piece of lamb. You're not safe anymore. You're not going to get to the New World Order before this order goes out from this flag and our authority to use it on anyone defrauding the public and defrauding the Paramount Chiefs and myself, the surrogate King William IV, surrogate King William III, the surrogate St. Patrick's Order in Belfast, Patrick Down, Down Patrick, and that's my ancestors from there, and from St. Mary's Church, birth certificates in Tiki Tiki on East Coast on my Wānoa, Wetā, Maui, Hapu land. Okay, you got that? I've got all the instruments. To nail a lot of you, thugs and pirates. This is what this flag was for. Thugs and pirates who tamper with our information from here to Britain, to the First Lord of the Sea, Philip Jones, and to the military of Britain, in the first instance, under this flag, into the Magistrate Court in Westminster, and then into the Parliament, Westminster Parliament, in that order. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to say on this video uh, today. That was my day, apart from um, <coughs> um, Gavin Marish online, I've deleted him off my site, and he'll be saying things about me the same things as the thugs said about me that lost the case in the court. He can't win nothing because he doesn't have a title to these lands. He'll get booted off. They'll boot him off. The Ngāpui won't stand any humbug from anybody who calls himself Ngāpui. You might be blood in there, but you're an outsider. You've come here with your ship. Marish, you've come here. Anybody come here with a Bible? <clears throat> in front of my, from now on, you've got a problem. Where did you get your title to get on this land from? Who gave you title? And we're going to look at every title in this country. That's the job of the Hapu, and anybody who wants to join this side, you get a job. You're on a contract, straight out. On a mobile phone, take pay, get paid on that, straight out. We don't have birth certificates, we have phone numbers as security. That's it. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. You get paid straight out. No muck around. No, none of this shit, double tax and all that bullshit. We're going to bill you for all the wrong things you did on these lands. And in the Pacific Islands and the world for that matter. All came from Waitangi Marae. We're going to seize that land and that marae. That's what I said all along. We're going to seize it and that's what's going to happen. Because now we have got it now. They have got it now, who is who on these lands, and who is a Maori, and who is a half Maori, and who is a bullshit Maori. I'm telling you, Maori is a product of the Crown Corporation in New South Wales, Australia, the pirates, the convicts who came here and are still there, parked up in the Beehive in Wellington, couldn't run anything. If you get people like Materia Tudia going defraud the people, and then plead ignorance to say, oh, I won't do it again. That's what they all say. Oh, hang on, I'm, I'm going to go away. I'm going to go to Australia and get the hell out of here. That's John Key. You won't get far, John Key, because there'll be sheriffs coming after you from Ngāpui. Ngāpui is going to do its thing because they are, this is their flag. This is Ngāpui's flag. It's nobody else's flag. It's those paramount chiefs, not any other mischief in the ground. You're going to get billed out because they know what to do. They're watching this because they own it. They own everything I say. I'm only going to handle the bank. And that's all I need for a job. Okay? And it took me a long time to make a job that suits me. And I suit this job right to the T. Your word against mine. What I say on video, you have to defend yourself from humiliation publicly. All right, you can't take your name off, you can't do anything about it because it's too late. It's too late. Too many people know. Gavin Marish, 
you're going to get caught, mate. No police going to come and get you because of what you did to me on my Facebook site. I had to do it like that to get it out of you because I don't trust you after you abandoned us and left us to get arrested on Cook Street. I wanted them to see how far they go. They went as far as to come in and arrest me and you were nowhere to be seen. You hid, you hid away, barred your office up in Manukau on the Great South Road and never let the police in. You little timid beast. And then on top of that, you left that place and took off somewhere else and hid. Because that place where you was is bad. I went in there and I felt there's something bad around you. There's something real bad around you. Just looking at you is enough. When you went with those marshals and started making all the orders, you're the one that pulled them into the office and you were under orders from me personally to do that job because I was staying on the road. I stood on, you rang up, I've got the witness, I've got the witness on tape and he'll vouch for it that <coughs> he used his phone to ring up because mine went flat. He rang you up because you rang on my phone, I couldn't ring on mine. So he used his and passed it over to me. See, it's on his phone. It's locked in. Everything that you did is locked in. There's people following what you did and got away with it. You're not getting away with this. You're going in with all the facts because you're one of them. That's what I'm saying on this video. <coughs> it was going to come out sooner or later. You thugs won't get away with it. None of you will escape my way. He's got his eye on everything in this country and the world. For that matter, he's watching all you lot. Okay, that's enough. Um, I'm going to go and put my little videos on online and my dinner, so I can show you my dinner. I didn't take any videos in the, in the um, um, gym today. I'll show you one one of these days. I'll show you me swimming under the water all the way, under the water backwards and forwards with a with a with a snowball. Right? Back and forth, under the water. Uh, and so you believe me, that cupping works. The Chinese cupping and the bloodletting and the acupuncture needles with Maggie, uh, hand, at, um, um, absolute therapy in 16 Lemmy Drive, Manukau City. She's very good. I, I trust her. I trust they're doing things for me. The needles are not that sore. They're not. They're only little teeny things, but they work. My bones, every muscle, every bone, every joint is spot on. Maggie, thank you. I never felt so good in all my life, as you can see on my face. I'm brimming from gill to gill with energy, and I got energy to burn. Mr. Marish, better watch out, man, because I'm feeling every bit of my bone is charged up and I'm not sleepy. I wasn't sleepy today. The other day I was very sleepy and pushing weights around very sleepy, falling asleep. But not today because I just discovered that if I have more than four hours sleep, I'll end up like today, feeling good. So I'm hoping that I can sleep right up to six o'clock instead of getting up at three o'clock. Because when my eyes open, it's back to work. Straight away, get out, get on. You know why? Because the two pillars, the ancestors, are telling me, get to work. Get on with it. The work to do. So, uh, to Ngāpui, all you people, all the people following, I'm very happy with the progress uh, so far, with confidence from the um, uh, Ngāpui chiefs up there and um, the Taumata Kaumatua, especially the Taumata Kaumatua of, of um, um, <coughs> Matari Day and uh, the Marae there, uh, Huetu's Marae, and also from Hokianga, from Waipuna Marae and Huli Peta. Um, you two were there in Waitangi Marae, Hohepa and, and uh, um, Huli 
okay, don't you bother to turn up to go to that hui uh, with Kingi and open up that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court and it works. That's the authority in Titi Marae as well and Te Akua Marae up there, Te Tehiku Te Hika, Te Hika Te Hiku or Te Ika Marae in Te Akua up north. That's a native court, native court, native magistrate court. The Titi Marae is a native magistrate court because when we go back to Titi Marae on the 28th of October, those magistrates come into there onto the land where King is, he should have his own land back into the Ngāti Rahiri under his authority there. It's just one piece of land, Bundy. There's plenty of other land. You have to survey the whole land and find all the crooks. Not a hard job to find. It pays well in this system. Anybody who's going to go and check all the land titles, I'll give you all the land titles, to go and check them to see who's crooked and seize the land of them. That's how you do it. Okay, that's an authority of this land working for us, not for the Crown, thugs in the Maori Tribunal, all those people in the Maori Tribunal and, and the treaty claims, you're all crooked with Finlayson, you're going to go in the jail with all the rest of you thugs and John Key and Helen Clark and Jerry Mugsbottai and Anne Satin and the whole bloody lot of you are going to get locked up and seize your land, seize your assets, John Key. Forget about whole, uh, hiding your 60 million or how much you got because it's going into the King's Bench Court with the British military, I'll seize it. If we say it's seized, they'll seize it because they have been screwed by the EU Parliament and you thugs in there operating, it's going to go under as well. And the Rothschild banks and George Soros and your ISIS people and Israel and all the rest of you thugs with Trump, you're in it too. You're in it too. And Putin is getting very close to being in that organisation where all those chemtrails, Russia and, and and all the rest of them involved in chemtrails up there trying to change the space. Moai's watching you people. He's up there, he's the spirit. He's watching you from Makemake Way.